So guys, welcome to Cheap Tech Tuesdays here on Maker's Muse. Today we're making a super cheap but crazy bright on-camera light. Pew! So you might be wondering why I've changed it to Cheap Tech Tuesdays instead of uh, Cheap Skate Sundays. Two reasons. One is I wanted to move the video into further into the week, so Tuesday worked. And also I was getting really nasty suggested videos because of the Cheap Skate wording. Just flush the toilet one day a week. One day a week. Yeah, that's gross. So I picked up this bad boy from Kmart for five bucks. It's a 24 LED array with super bright white LEDs. I remember the day when white LEDs, super bright white LEDs were like $10 each from Dick Smith's and I would sort of pretend they were the five cent LEDs when I bought them. But yeah, things have come a long way since then. It comes with a battery as well. You just pull the tab out, make sure you buy one where the tab's still intact because there's a couple on the stall which had, um, had their batteries drained. But yeah, it has two modes. It has torch mode and ah, there you go. LED array mode, which is, this, this is crazy bright. You could use it as a fill light. You could do whatever the hell you want with it. It's super bright. And it's actually really meant to be used for automotive use. So you put it in the car, it's got a magnet and a hook. So you can stick it on the bonnet or hang it off something at night. But what I want to use this for is an on-camera light. So these are still pretty expensive. They're actually like, they're way more expensive than they should be. And this could easily be adapted for use as one. It's got um, three AAA batteries inside, so it runs for a decent amount of time, easy to change, and it's got a decent, you know, small housing and it doesn't weigh that much. So perfectly sized. So with your DSLR, you have what's called the hot shoe mount. So on top of your camera, you can put an uh, off-camera you know mic or an external flash or whatever the hell you want but we can use this mounting point to attach our LED array for fill lights and we're not gonna actually be drawing any power from the camera that would be a really bad idea but it's just a convenient mounting point so what I went ahead and did is I designed this tiny little adapter Let's see if you can see that and this is 3D printed, it takes literally like five minutes less, like two minutes. And this lets you attach things to your camera. So this is what's inside one of these. Uh, you don't have to do this, but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't drilling into any wires or anything. Uh, the batteries are just standard AAAs. Um, they're really cheap, so they probably run out quickly, but oh well, easy to replace. Uh, it's actually a pretty good build quality. I was quite impressed. The LEDs are well soldered. Um, they look quite, quite good. And there's heaps of meat around the side, as you can see, so easy to just pop a drill into it and tap your screw in. And with a little mount I 3D printed, just takes a little countersunk screw and you can just force it into the, uh, the pre-drilled hole. And tighten it up and you're good to go. And that's really all there is to it. So here we've got our camera, we've got the light mounted on the hot shoe. Very easy to take off, very easy to put back on. Um, it's not electrically connected to the camera at all, so it's very safe. Um, very powerful white light. It's really bright um, and pretty directional. Not as much as a single point source, like a single LED, but still, you know, very, very stark. So you can just get a bit of paper and soften it up heaps, so to give it a really sort of soft look um, or something thinner. And yeah, so that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's go test this puppy. So yeah, as you can see, it does a pretty damn good job of lighting complete darkness. Uh, it does have a very obvious spot effect, but as you can see, if I turn the light off and then um, then back on, you can just see how much of an effect it actually has. So if you really have to see something at night in complete darkness, this is your ticket. It does definitely wash out stuff if you get too close because the light you know, just reflects back and causes all sorts of awfulness. But yeah, for five bucks, I'm pretty impressed with it. That's basically it. Thanks guys for watching. As always, really appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you hate it. Hey, I'm not going to judge. And let me know in the comments how you went. And I'll see you next week or probably sooner. Probably, yeah, sooner. Um, with more vids. See you guys.